What is going on guys? It is your man with the plan. It is official book. Welcome back to episode number six of Rude Hulk's Burnley Journey. As you can see on the screen now, Rude Rude Hulk, I'm about to say Rude Bullock then. Rude Hulk has 20 goals in 13 games for us. All types of goals. We are doing pretty well once again, I always say at the start of every episode, we are getting on pretty far. Another 80 goals away from hitting his target. Here are some of Andre Gray Strats, the heroes. Um, Carl we bought a few weeks back. He's been pitching in a few goals. Likewise with Lloyd Dyer. He's getting a few assists. Sam Vaughan's been getting a lot of goals recently. Taking the shine off uh, Rude Hoyt. But nevertheless, here's our Rude Hoyt stats. 20 goals in 13 games. Hopefully, hopefully he can carry it on. Otherwise, we will be doing the forfeit. And our first opponent was uh, this guy here. Um, Classic XR was his team name. And this is his team. A nice looking League One team, Rufio in form, Maxwell in form, Samuel and Titty in form, David Luis area, Pastore in form, Diara in form, I don't know the last centre mid, but then he's got like a Z up front, um, in form, Valbuena, and a nice, a, a nice looking team to be honest. And then the first highlight comes from him making a mistake, George Boyd to Rude Hoyt, Rude Hoyt to Gray, Gray to Volks, back to him. then they had a shot here with Gray, and the shot was that bad, it found Wade Dyer. At the back post, who gets himself a goal to his name after getting a few assists in the previous episodes. Nice build up play, and accidentally, it was a shot, but it turns out it was actually a real good pass at the end. And we do go 1 0 up after the guy attempted to clear it off the line. Second half, at 29th minute, we are running through with Andre Gray's burst of pace. He tackles me perfectly, or what it seems perfectly, and the referee gives away a penalty in the 30th minute. If I was this guy, I would have been really mad. Those are the types of penalties where. You're happy if you get them because they did bullshit penalties, but if you concede them, you're fucking fuming. Because as you can see in there, he clearly wins the ball. But Rudo it steps up and scores to make it 2-0 with Maxwell also getting sent off from my opponent. And Rudo gets his first in this episode to put his name onto the score sheet. Nice penalty. Unfortunately, the way it came about getting it, but you do take him as it comes. And then... Straight from kickoff, this guy tried to do some skills. Rude Hoy intercepted, and this is what your command can do. This guy was, I think, was really pissed off because he just got sent off, and he's sliding in the box. So I just doing the skill touch dribble and skipping past him, and got into the box. Rude Hoy then makes it free. A nice little side foot finish off the inside of his foot to make it. Uh, sorry, the outside of the foot to make it three 0 Get his second nice little goal, but I think if the guy wasn't mad because of the previous second goal from the penalty, he wouldn't have been sliding up, but he wouldn't have got the, uh, the space. To do all the skill moves like the non touch dribbling to make it 3 0. But Rude Hoyt took it nicely and we are leading 3 0. Next up, my opponent once again messes up intercepting by Joey Barn. A nice free pull, and then you can see Rude Hoyt finally gets a hat trick since episode number two, if I'm not mistaken. The first time he's actually scored a question of goals. A uh, free hat trick, a free goals hat trick, of course. If you, if you don't know that means you are pretty stupid. But yeah, Rude Hoyt bags set up himself a hat trick. Pretty early on in this episode. Apparently, a two pretty simple goals to be honest. And then this is where my mistake come in. Like I said, it's running right for one goal. Finesses it straight past Tommy Heaton. It wasn't missing that any day of the week. And he gets his name on the score sheet. The young French striker belly flopping his way into my goal to make it 4-1. But I responded with Sam Volk intercepting the ball off David Ruiz. Jumps, jumps over the lunge from his uh, centre-back. Plays it into Rude Hulk, and then Rude Hulk gets four goals to his name. He's getting these goals up, he's bagging them. Any type of goals he's taking, free kicks, little scrappy goals, nice little skill dribbling goals. He's taking them all. Poor goalkeeping there, to be honest. And then once again, he does another mistake. Sam Vox intercepts it, and then he scores an own goal. And I'm thinking, what the fuck is this guy doing? He must be really pissed off at the fact that he's now scored an own goal and pretty much given, gifted me the end. Um, Two other goals. And then another mistake by me. <laughs> He's running through back as, with Lacazette. I tried swapping him out with uh, Michael Keane and then with Stephen Ward. But then he finesses it straight past Tom Eaton to make it 6 0. Once again, does a nice little belly flop into the goal with the young French striker, like Andre Lacazette. Uh, and then in the 67th or 70th minute, my opponent slid and then disconnected. I don't know if he disconnected on purpose or he just rage quit trying to send me off or trying to actually uh, trying to send me off because the entire game he was. Uh, Trying to like break my legs the majority of the game with players, but that's how it finished. The first uh, game in this episode finished 6 2, and our next opponent was V Tom IZ West Lamy United using the Division 1 kit and one of the Arsenal kits. And here was his lineup using a 4 3 1 2 formation, if I'm not mistaken. Two uh, team of the seasons, including uh, Eric uh, Delia Ali and uh, Jamie Vardy, Gabby Bangalore up front. And the rest was a Spanish uh, La Liga side 
And once again, Rude having enough time to pick Sam Vox out. Sam Vox then makes the room for Andre Great. Great then slots it straight past Diego Alves to make it 1 0 in the third minute. So far, so good. So far, so good. Nice link up play between the three of our main players Sammy Vox, Rudy Hoyt, and Audrey Gray. Nice little burst spin from Rudy Hoyt to find Vox. Vox will turn on the ball. And this is what happens with Rudy Hoyt. If he's not scoring scruffy goals, he's scoring bangers from 35 yards out to make it 2 0. A nice little freak as he celebrates off to the cameraman. Pounds his chest and fist pumps in the air. Celebrates with the fans. Look at this for a curl. 35 yards out. This is what your man Rude Hoyt can do. Look at that curl. Past the keeper to make it 2-0. And then Rude Hoyt once again. Instrumental in the point. It falls to Andre Griff. The foot come by Sammy Vaults and gets an overhead kick. He's a nice bastard kick at the end of the day. I think the keeper should have done better. Andre Griff's a good one. A really nice finish by the, uh, the young English striker, Sam Vox and Andre Gray linking up like they've done all season long. And that is how it finished. A nice free kick by Rude Hoyt and two clinically taking good goals by Andre Gray. Makes it 3-0 as our opponent literally doesn't want to play anymore. And as we come to the end of the episode, Rude Hoyt now does has 25 goals in its 16 games. So we are doing really well. And once again, we can't, we can't say, oh, he's doing bad because he made up for this little drought he had in a few episodes previously. Where he wasn't scoring. He scores four goals and then scores another goal. So he's made five goals altogether in this episode. We are doing really well with him. But anyway, it's been your man with the pan official book. Remember to take that like, leave a comment, whatever. Any links in the description will be down below. My Twitter, everything. It's been your man with the pan official book. And bye. Have a great time.